It's a, it's a pretty short clip. But since that video emerged, the Abia State Governor um, Okeze Pazu has suspended his chief of staff. And uh, there's been a lot of conversations online. We've invited this morning um, Sir Fred Nzako to share his thoughts on this uh, incident. Good morning. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Nzako. Good morning. I'm glad to be with you. All right. Uh, quickly, let's let's get your views on this video and the response by the Abia State Governor. Um, do you think it, it, it is, you know, the right thing that he has done? Um, he has not just done the right thing. He has not even done enough. Suspending the chief of staff, so many people will feel is not enough. People are asking that he should sack and relieve him of his duties as the chief of staff to the state, a state where so many people, especially the residents and indigenous of Abia State are complaining of uh, inadequate governance, are complaining of poverty and uh, very bad and dilapidated infrastructure, a state that can not boast of serving the people with adequate uh, infrastructure as required a dividend of democracy. And now in such a state, such a high-ranking officer as the chief of staff, we so brazenly, we so brazenly undermine the integrity of of the of the current naira. Don't forget that this charade happened in his office. Behind them is the coat of arms and the flag of the country and the flag of the party and the rest of them. Behind them are the paraphernalia of office which um, are expected to be handled with decorum. And uh, you now wonder and ask, why would the chief of staff be this in love with perfidy? Why would he be this in love with the basement of both his office and of the integrity of our currency? Don't forget that there is a law, there is a subsisting law in Nigeria against the spraying of Naira. Yes. That law has not been repealed. It is still valid, even though in essence, it is observed in breach, but it is not expected that the breach will come from such high-ranking officers of government. So I think the governor, the governor's suspension of the chief of staff is not just in order, but is not enough. The chief of staff should be relieved of his responsibilities so that he can join Odumeja to go in the on the <laughs> on the road of uh, of uh, entertainment. Do, does this that is what he wants? instead of serious business of governance. How much of a stain does this also, um, you know, of, you know well, the governor himself, his personality um, and, uh, you know, these events, do, does this do a lot of damage to Governor Okeze Ikpazu? And does this represent well, really what his not, government is about? If he does not sack the chief of staff, it will damage his, um, his integrity. But if he sack the chief of staff, he will send the, the, the appropriate signal that 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 attitude that action does not represent the actions of of government does not represent what he the governor represents that does not represent the real intent of of such high-ranking public official at the state level but if the governor fails to sack him and uh, only suspends him allow time to pass and the matter will be swept under the carpet and the man resumes his responsibility then the governor's integrity would have been impugned. All right, uh, Mr. Nzego. I join other women in Nigerians to ask that the chief of staff be relieved of his responsibility. Other state has so many people, men and women of integrity, that can handle such position and respect the sensibilities of the people, especially the poor masses, because this is rubbing on them the fact that they are poor and hungry. All right, Mr. Nzako, I want to I want to ask you about the um, the response as it were right now. Some people will argue that the government should not just sack um, the chief of staff, and there are those on the flip side of the argument that say um, in the video it shows that the chief of staff knew he was being filmed in an age of social media. 
It also does not need an explanation like you rightly highlighted. It was in a government office. So on, on what part, what, which part of the argument would be stronger for you? Because what we know, like the police case where uh, they came to courts to ask that the panels of inquiry be uh, stopped, should this be investigated before he is relieved of his duty, which is the normal process of the law? Or is the video enough for him to be sacked with immediate effect? In law, when we say an action takes, took place in the face of the court, it does not need further evidence or investigation for the court to take a decision. This particular action took place in the face took place in the face of, of, the, of the people, in the face of the government, and in government office, it was videoed, and uh, uh, nobody would expect any further investigation. Any committee set up to investigate this matter would, would, would not receive the cooperation and the, the trust of the people, because the people will feel that the committee is only aimed as giving soft landing to the chief of staff. And that is why people expect the governor to immediately relieve him of his responsibilities. There is nothing to investigate, except he want to tell us that that video is uh, a Photoshop, which has become the hallmark of uh, people in authority. When such damaging videos come out, they claim it's a Photoshop. But this particular one cannot be the same claim. And uh, it is uh, a, a, a debasement of the sentimentalities of the people. It does not recognize the emotions. It does not uh, play on the emotional intelligence of the people of other states. Now, why the essence of what is the essence of, of the video and then sending the releasing the video to the public? If he wanted to give Odumeja any money, common sense determines that he will pocket that money in an envelope and give Odumeja and not to display such impunity and rascality in government house. So ex it exactly is not in his own personal house. It is an impunity displayed in government house, and the government house is owned by the people of other states. So, look as if was very well served the people. Friend Zako, I, I want to know what, what exactly the crime should be here. Are we meant to assume that these things happen behind closed doors? And the reason this is all is you know, creating a conversation this morning is simply because this, this video was Follow leaked. The camera. Um, and I mean, I'm sure that they do these things even with cameras there, but you know, not all of them get out there and not everyone gets, you know, to the view of the public. So is the challenge here, the fact that there are persons in the Abia state government that do not understand the level of poverty in the state and understand the sensibility of, of, um, governance. And that's the type of life that they have been living in the last few years since Oke Zekbazo has been in government. Is that what we're meant to assume here? Or is our problem really the fact that it was put on video? Because you just mentioned that if you wanted to give it to Major money, he could have put it in an envelope and, and given it to him. Could have put it in a Ghana must go bag also. He could have taken it into a hotel. There are numerous ways I could have given him money. So is our challenge here the idea of him giving him money or the idea that it was captured on video? Spraying it. If he gave Odumeja money, nobody would have known the reasons why he gave him money. If he served certain purposes for him, such gift may have been private and personal. If he did some jobs for him, such would have been private and personal. But that would have also been done discreetly and quietly. And the other monies that have been, they have been, officials of government have been frittering away, embezzling and using for their private uh, purposes against the dictates and the will of the people are not brought to the public. But this particular one is, is rubbing it on the, on the noses of the people of other states. That in, a, in as much as you people are poor and hungry, we really don't care. So the sensibilities and the emotional uh, intelligence was not there. He did not get the, the, the feeling of the people of Abia. And if the governor does not leave him on his appointment, the governor would have sent a very wrong signal as if this is the norm and the is convention this, is, in is other Is this states. a widespread sentiment? Uh, Mr. Nzako, is, it this, is this a widespread sentiment in Abia State? Because it looks like people are speaking for the people. We don't seem to hear a lot from the people themselves when issues like this come up. What's your assessment of the responses of the people to issues raised 
when it affects their government. Um, would you say that the economic reality is uh, pulling them down from speaking up or they are content with what they have? You will recall that the people in civil society and organizations and activists have been clamoring against the, the dictatorial tendencies of governors in Nigeria. The governors in various states act as emperors. They are very intolerant of criticisms and opposition, no matter how constructive such oppositions and such criticisms are. No matter how constructive the people try to bring out the failings and limitations of those in authority. They set the machinery, the coercive and oppressive machinery of state against the people that are already popularized. And you now find out that so many people in various states are unable to even speak up. It's not only in other states. Similar things happen in virtually all states across the Federation. And that is why the governors will pocket the monies meant for local government administration and nobody talks. That is why the governors will not hold local government elections and that is why the governors will not allow governance to trickle down to local level at the grassroots level and nobody talks. The people don't talk because they have been prohibited and pummeled by the using the instruments of question are, the, are, are available to the to, to the governors. Well, well. And that is why people who have the voices, who represent the masses, will continue to speak against such evils. We continue to rise up against such evils. And uh, I ask, ask the people to take the governance into their, take their destiny into their hands and recover their states from the hands of the governors who are emperors and dictators. The yeah. people of Abia must rise against this type of impunity and so the people of other states must also rise against similar impunity that you can see all over the place. In Anambra State, for example, which is a neighboring state to other state, there was a report sometime that the wife of a governor wore a gooky eyeglasses worth over 850,000 naira and was flaunting it publicly. That tells you the kind of sensibilities that the people are exposed to. In other states, it is similar. And where you see the offices of the deputy governors being take off, taken over by the wives of the governors. The deputy governors were elected on joint tickets with the governors, but at the end of the election, the wives of the governors will take over and, uh, and they reduce the deputy governors to mere uh, errand boys of the governor. That is not the democracy that we are talking about. All that right. is not the type of democracy that will take Nigeria any further. We want a democracy that will be deep protected. Thank you very the much. Um... Fred Zako, thank you so much. Um, great thing, I think he, he believe is also from one of the states in the southeast. So you know, it's it's a it's a conversation that he can have from a personal level, uh, size of professional level. Thank you very much for sharing with us, um, and uh, we of course would do a follow up and see if the suspension lasts or if he eventually is sacked. Um, and also, you know, I hope that something also happens to the other people in the room who were enablers of this uh, disgraceful act. Thank you very much, Fred Zako, for joining us. Many thanks, many thanks. I wish you a good day. You too, sir. You too. It's um, it's a, it's it's really um, it's it's a shame. It's it's a slap, like you said, um, on the faces of the people of Abia State. But it really is an eye opener uh, to let those people and the the electorate in those areas to understand the amount of money that is available in their government houses. The amount of money, raw cash, that is available in government houses that a lot of times don't get to them. Know, doesn't get to um, the people. The, the, the question you asked about whether it's on film, that's why people are reacting. Uh, for me, it's pertinent. Uh, these things happen behind closed doors and we don't get to see them. So when you see something like this, expectedly, people that are already angry, like he said, will not take it lightly. I'd like to see the people of Abia State speak for themselves. I'd like them to, you know, hold their government. In this instance, this man who has acted in this manner, asked the governor to not just suspend him, but sack him from office. It doesn't matter the genesis of the problem. We see him take money. We see him spray it. Is it a crime to spray money in Nigeria? Well. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.